the four cylinder roars to life. Gladly we'll have twice the amount of cylinders in a few days. Gotta get a quick workout in. All right, here we are in my garage. So after a well-cooked meal, shower, and a fresh set of clothes, I guess I can say welcome to the vlog. So for those of you who saw a previous vlog I did about a week ago, know that my neighbor just bought a brand new 2017 AMG C63S. His is a sedan. Mine will be a coupe, obviously. And just to recap here real quick for those who didn't see that vlog, I was standing outside of my house and I saw the car come around the corner and I ran out in the street. I don't have a camera on me or anything like that. I just ran out in the street and I stopped the guy. I was like, whoa, nice car. And <laughs> he had his window down and we started talking. And uh, long story short, I was telling him, you must not be from around here because I would have recognized this car, believe me. And he's like, no, I live right there. And he points at his house and it's two houses down from me. It's around the corner on a separate street, but it's two houses down. And I've never met the guy before and he had just gotten his a week earlier. He had to wait for a very, very long time. He ordered his in November and just got it. Well, now it's two weeks ago. So at the time, as I mentioned, I didn't have a camera on me, so I didn't catch that on film, but it is a beautiful, beautiful spec uh, on his car. It's a lunar blue color. Around two days later, I did catch up with him though while he was out washing his car. He's a retired gentleman, so he will be keeping his car in the garage most of the time, uh, something that I will not do. I'll be driving it all the time. The car that he traded in was a Dodge Challenger about five years old and had 5,000 miles on it. That's kind of what I'm gonna have in like two months <laughs> when I get mine. But what I wanted to do is show you guys his car. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen already that I posted a quick little video when he pulls it out of his garage. It's a startup clip type thing and pulls it out. But I did do a quick little walk around at the time. I don't think he was very interested in being on camera, so I wasn't filming, talking to him at the same time. He's a very, very nice guy. He showed me the car, we talked about it and stuff, but I didn't wanna pull my camera gear up there and stick it in his face and start talking and stuff. Uh, I didn't know if he would be comfortable with that. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog, when I was pulling out of this garage here, and my four cylinder EcoBeast started, which doesn't sound at all, is that pretty soon, obviously, I will have four extra cylinders in my own C63S. Until then, let's listen to his car. So he has a 2017 sedan. It is in lunar blue. It's a gorgeous color. Um, if that was an option for the coupes, I might have considered that. For the coupes, you can only get a color called brilliant blue. I wasn't really that fond of that color. Now, uh, his car has the stock 19 inch wheels, which are beautiful. I just think they're a little too small. If they were an inch bigger, that'd be great. Now, Tom also got the carbon fiber package, meaning the little wing in the back and then also the side mirrors. He also has the illuminated star in the front. 
And as we look at the interior, he has the red pepper interior, something that I tried to get right in the last minute before I thought the order was locked down. Um, I couldn't get it because the order was locked down. So there was no changes uh, being made at that time. So uh, I, I do like that interior. Um, in the beginning, I didn't because it looks more orangey-ish but uh, it grew on me after a while. So I wanted to change my mind there real quick and get the red pepper interior, but I couldn't. So it's gonna be uh, the black Napa leather with gray inserts. So I think his car is absolutely gorgeous. Now I've explained before why I'm getting a coupe. I think it looks better than the sedan, although the sedan is you know, not ugly in any way. It's just that the lines, especially in the rear, are a little too sleek for me. I don't think the car looks aggressive enough a coupe looks completely different than the sedan the coupe is also 0.6 inches lower than a sedan so it, get, it just gives the car a different stance that's why i went with the coupe but however a lot of people you know it all comes down to opinion really some people go with the sedan and that's awesome for them and i just wanted the coupe so in the future hopefully you know tom and i can get together maybe i can do a comparison video between sedan and and coupe uh, that'd be very very interesting and maybe just go for a ride together in both our cars that would be a lot of fun but let's get out of the garage here so let me know what you guys think do you guys like the sedans or the coupes for the c63s as i mentioned everyone has different opinions it'd be interesting to Oh, I'm wearing my glasses inside. It would be very interesting to see what you guys think. So drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll uh, find out what you guys like. So today's vlog is gonna be a lot shorter than they usually are, but I wanted to mention that it's only two days left for you guys to pick up your Auto Vlog Edition 1 t-shirts. You guys seem to like them because we've sold quite a few of them. But as I mentioned, it's a campaign that is on limited time. So two days left. Um, if you want to be one of the only ones that has a edition one autoblog t-shirt After this campaign is over these will no longer be available. So pick one up at teespring.com slash autoblog dash edition one There will be a direct link in the description if you're interested in picking up a autoblog t-shirt Now where is my car located currently? Well, I'm going to show you here because I am obviously tracking it. So it is very, very close to where it needs to be. All right, so right there on the screen, that's the vessel that is carrying my car, along with obviously a bunch of other different vehicles. And this is where it's going, Baltimore. So the ETA, I just checked it, is about 17 hours so it's, it's supposed to be in baltimore tomorrow morning at six o'clock so <laughs> it's getting really really close here to it finally hitting u.s soil and then it's probably going to take maybe four or five days until it's at the dealership ready to be delivered so uh it's getting very very close here and i'm extremely excited this weight especially when you can track it on the ocean and the ship doesn't go much quicker than like maximum 19 uh, knots and that is what I mean I'm not an expert but what like 20 miles an hour so I mean the <laughs> thing hasn't been moving very quickly but now it's getting very very close so uh, hopefully what is it today Sunday maybe end of next week if we're lucky we can start having some actual c63s videos my own so yeah i hope you guys enjoy that little update there and thanks to everyone that is uh, sticking around and waiting with me i know there's a lot of you guys that are patiently awaiting this car just like i am so i really really appreciate that and i can't wait to uh start producing content with uh, my new car but as i mentioned it is extremely close to this becoming reality. So I'm gonna end the video for today with that. Hang tight and I'll see you guys very, very soon.